Thank you. It is clearly now the will of the Parliamentary Conservative Party that there should be a new leader of that party and therefore a new Prime Minister. A few moments ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. So this is where we start. I came to London fall 2022 to study abroad, to study film, to study the city perhaps, to make 100 friends and immerse myself. I got off to a rocky start. Getting arrested in England is fun because they insult you and dehumanize you the way that any other cops do, but then they tell you that you must be so thankful that you're not being arrested in America where they would be waving a gun in your face. They say that being in any sort of solitary confinement is one of the most psychologically torturous of punishments. And I wasn't even really in solitary. They took me out a couple times to talk to immigration and handed me microwave meals. But I sat there for 16 hours. I counted after I got home. I had no way of knowing how time was passing in holding cell 4. I had no idea what my new friends, or the people I hoped would become my friends, were doing. I had plans to go shopping. Losing a whole day in the cell was more than losing a weekend. The tentative and desperate threads of connection, of friendship by proximity, were already being woven between the other students. And here I am, talking to myself in a tiny room with yellow tiled walls. Just like that short story. You know, the one where the woman goes crazy in a room with yellow walls. Anyway. It got worse. And then it got worse again. Dear Diary, I got COVID. I'm missing out on the film festival and going out and making friends. We're at the part of the semester where people are making real connections. They're sharing secrets and braiding each other's hair. And here I am. I just sleep all day in the living room sick ward and eat oatmeal that I can't taste. It could be worse. At least I can trust that the country I'm in is stable and remains as an anchor for me to... Given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. The solitude stuck to me. I had to get out. I had barely even seen London, but London was where all the bullshit was happening. I planned a trip to Cardiff, Wales. I went via train, alone. If I couldn't break free, I'd just dive headfirst into the solitude. I have this tendency. I probably inherited it from my dad. I walk through new cities all by myself. I take my time and I just walk. I get a food that I can carry, or I'll sit and people watch. I love to go to museums alone. Cardiff has castles and cathedrals you could just walk into. I did a self-guided ghost tour at Llandaff Cathedral. I traipsed through the mud and the mist, listening to stories of women who wander alone on the riverbank, of abandoned children, of a figure who stands solitary in the middle of the path. Look at me, a ghost. If nobody sees me soon, I might just get completely lost. And then, that night, four strangers at a queer bar invited me to an emo club with them. Four people around my age that I had never met saw me in the drink in my hand and just took me with them. Right place, right time, perhaps. Or it's the nature of queer people to just grab recklessly at those threads of connection and to know what we need from each other better than anyone else. 
or people in Cardiff are just really nice. Actually, a lot of the people I'd already met in London were really nice. See, here's the thing about Solitude. It's a little bitch. Solitude has like one hit point, one punch KO. It'll get back up inevitably, but there's plenty of time to train and memorize the attack patterns. So let me rephrase. I am a ghost, most of the time. Pulling on loose threads until I can pull myself back into the land of the living, and I need to look up, because there are a lot of people already sharing their secrets and cigarettes with me. And if not, I get to go out haunting. And there are a lot of places that need to be haunted. And now that I've figured it all out, well, I actually have to go home.